All right, so I wanted to do a quick video here about something that took place during Fort Nightmares. So that was in October of this year, so just a month ago. And I didn't really see anyone talk about it, but it was absolutely crazy. Something that if you were to read right now, you would probably say, nah, that didn't really happen. There's no way. So it has to do with V-Bucks. And remember, in October, at the end of Four Nightmares, Fortnite increased their prices of V-Bucks. They announced it. They gave us like a month in advance to, I guess, I don't know, prepare for the V-Bucks price increase. And then it happened. So on the screen right now are the current prices. Everything went up, probably due to inflation. And Epic Games was just trying to counter the inflation and earn some money back, I guess. So like I said, these are the current prices. 1,000 V-Bucks is $8.99 and 13,500 V-Bucks is $89.99. So on the morning of October 27th, that was the day that prices were set to go up. So I just double checked on the calendar. That was a Friday morning, October 27th. So as they were adjusting to the new prices, they messed up and they didn't just mess up a little bit. They messed up huge. So one of the countries that was affected by these price increases was Hungary. So the currency in Hungary is called a forint. I think I said that right. Hopefully I did. And for 13,500 V-Bucks, the new price was supposed to be 27,000 forint. 27,000. So in US dollars, that's about $74.39. So they had it cheaper than what we've got. Remember, in America, 13,500 V-Bucks is now $89.99. And their price, 27,000 forint, is about $74.39, like I said. However, Epic Games messed up and they put the price as 89 forint, 89. That's it. 89.00. Remember, it's supposed to be 27,000 and they made it 89. So what's 89 forint in American dollars? 30 cents. I'm not even joking. 30 cents. So you could buy 13,500 V-Bucks for 30 cents in American dollars. Now, as far as I know, no big named accounts tweeted this out. I'm sure some people knew about it, but they didn't let the cat out of the bag and tons of people profited off this. So there's ways you can buy different currencies of V-Bucks. So you could go and buy hungry V-Bucks right now. So you can buy V-Bucks from other countries. I think it's via websites or something. I don't know. I don't do that, but you can do that. So of course, if you did that on the morning of October 27th, you could buy 13,500 V-Bucks for 30 cents and you could do it over and over and over. Like I said, I'm not even making this up. This is 100% real and nobody tweeted about it until after it was done. So surely you would say, okay, that's a huge glitch. Supposed to be about $74. They're charging 30 cents. They're going to take away all the V-Bucks that people bought, maybe even ban some people. No, they did Nothing. In fact, they made an official tweet that said, hey, we messed up. You can keep everything. I had to read the tweet five times just to make sure I was understanding this correctly. I'm just remembering some of the things that Epic Games reversed in the past. There was this one glitch where you got 100 V-Bucks for free, and it wasn't even really that big of a glitch. And they took that 100 V-Bucks away from every single person that did it. 100 V-Bucks. That's it. But when people were buying 13,500 V-Bucks for 30 cents, they turned the other cheek and they said you could keep all of it. So here's the official tweet, just to let you know I'm not making this up. This was on October 27th. The official Fortnite status Twitter account said this. Prices for hungry in-game and in-console stores were also incorrect when implemented. These were corrected at 2.20 p.m. Eastern and all purchases at the lower price will remain in place. So not only did people not get banned for doing this, they got to keep everything. So back in the day, you could buy as many V-Bucks as you wanted. Someone actually bought a million V-Bucks, and that's a lot of money. To buy a million V-Bucks today, it would cost you about $6,665 if you wanted for some reason to buy a million. But from what I understand, they capped the amount of V-Bucks you can buy, and this happened pretty recently. So from what I've read, the limit is 200,000 V-Bucks. You can't go beyond that even if you wanted to. So to buy 200,000 V-Bucks today is $1,349, give or take a few. But if you were paying attention on the morning of October 27th, you could max out your V-Bucks for $4.50.
30 cents a pop, you get 13,500 each time you bought it. $4.50 to max out V-Bucks in Fortnite. How crazy is that? Now, I think a lot of people were scared when they did this because they didn't know if they would be banned or not. And it turns out nobody got banned. They all got to keep it. There's screenshots out there on the Twitter thread where Fortnite said you get to keep it. Here's two images. This is from someone named Queez on Twitter. And it looks like they bought 87,820 V-Bucks. And then this image is from Flezzy. And you can see he's from Hungary and he bought 121,200 V-Bucks. But like I said, nobody got wind of this until after they had already fixed it. So the people that knew about it didn't say anything, and the people that didn't know about it didn't find out until after it was corrected. But all you had to do is change your in-game store to Hungry, and then go in and buy as many V-Bucks as you could for 30 cents for 13,500. I just can't believe it. I can't believe this is real, and that it happened, and that Epic Games did nothing. They basically just shelled out a boatload of V-Bucks for pennies on the dime which is just crazy to me. But it's a true story. You can look it up yourself. And that is how some people have over 100,000 and possibly even 200,000 V-Bucks due to that crazy glitch. So there you go. What do you guys think about this story? Let me know in the comments. I thought I had to share it because I didn't see anyone cover it. Crazy. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.